Hi, my name is Aubrey Millard and welcome to this 3D Evolutions tutorial on modeling a fern. Interior visualizations and interior scenes can really benefit from plants and they're really not all that hard to create if uh, once you get used to it. And this is what we're going to try and create today. So let's get started. Fire up 3ds Max and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to just draw out a simple cylinder. Go into your uh, parameters rollout, and we're going to change some of the settings. Um, mine's set to decimal inches. Yours might be different, but uh, I'm going to set mine to 0.125 for the radius, 18 inches in height, 20 height segments, and 12 side segments. Once you have done that, collapse it to an editable poly. Go into your top view and select vertex sub mode. Move in and select this center row of vertices. This is where our leaves are going to be. Now we don't want all of those vertices selected because we don't we want a bit of stem. So hold down your Alt key and then marquee select about the bottom five or six uh, set of vertices and deselect them. Once you have that, we're actually now going to do an extrude. So scroll down until you see the extrude button. Click on that. Now 10 inches is a bit too much, so we're just going to go with 8 inches. And then for a width, we're going to go with 0.5 and say OK. Now what you want to do is take and marquee select the outer set of vertices here, not the top ones. Select your move tool and drag them up like this, about like that. Now what we want to do is we want to give it a bit of shape. So we're going to move some of these vertices in individually. And just to give it a nice, uh, just to give it a nice shape. So I'm going to go through and do that and I'm going to pause this while I do it so that it doesn't take up too much time. Okay, so now we've got a decent shape to our fern and so what we need to do now is because we're going to want to bend these later on we need to create vertices in here to break it up because right now this is just one straight polygon it will not bend so while still in vertex sub mode scroll down until you see the slice plane button and click on that rotate the indicator until it's 90 degrees and then just take your move tool and move it out and we're going to create a set of vertices and we're going to slice the plane about once every unit or once every inch so that when we go to bend it it will bend properly okay now that we've got all our slices in place click slice plane again to deselect it and you can see how we're coming along here we've got a half decent shape to our fern to start off with next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to bend our fern we're going to bend the leaves so select polygon sub mode and then marquee select all the polygons along one side and then up under your modifier list select bend now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to rotate the gizmo so that we can bend it in the right direction. So select gizmo and then your rotate tool and rotate like that. Go back into the bend modifier and then we're going to apply the bend to it. I find about 112 degrees as an angle works pretty good. Once you have it bent the way you want, collapse to all, say yes. Now, don't worry about this stretching here, we're about to take care of that. Go back into polygon sub mode and just all the, vert all the polygons are still selected, so we're just going to drag it back into place like that. And again, marquee select the other side. And 
again, we're going to apply the bend modifier to it. Now don't forget, we have to rotate the gizmo so that it bends in the right direction. And then again, we had it set at 112, so we'll set this one at 112 as well. And then we're done, so we collapse to all. Select polygon sub mode again, and drag it back in place. So now you can see we've got a nice bit of a bend happening here. So all we have to do now is because this plant in real life isn't straight, we're going to apply a bend modifier one more time to it. So we'll scroll down and select bend. And we're bending it along the z-axis. And go down until you've got a good bend in it like this. That doesn't look too bad. I think we'll use that. Now before we go any further, as you can see, some of the polygons are starting to show through. So we're going to add a smooth modifier onto the top of the stack here. And select Auto Smooth and you can see how that smooths that out. So now we have our first fern created. Now we're going to create a bunch of them. So with your fern selected, select the Rotate tool, hold your Shift key down, and rotate and you can see it, it'll create a copy and we'll create in total four copies of it don't have it as an instance or it'll just make things a little more difficult so we have our four ferns selected and now what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're just going to move them apart a little bit move this one up say two inches we move it out because we're actually going to create another set of ferns on the inside and make it look a little nicer. Now select any one of the ferns, create another copy, drag it into the center. Yeah, again, just a copy, say OK. Again, we're going to grab our rotate tool and we're going to rotate and we're going to create three copies. place them in position, roughly. Yeah, about like that. And because it's looking kind of messy, we want to stretch them out, which is one of the reasons why we kept the bend modifier in place. So just go in, and we can now adjust them and set them the way that we want. Don't make them all the same. Play around with some of the uh, settings just to give them a little bit of uh, variation. Now we're going to do the same thing with the lower ones. Like I said, we don't want them all, all the same. We want a little bit of variation in everything. Once you uh, have them kind of where you want them, yeah, that doesn't look too, too bad. Now we're going to go in and we're going to move the center ones around a bit as well. check, see how things are looking. Alright, 
So now what we're going to do is I'm going to marquee select all of the ones that we have. Oops. And we're going to convert them all to an editable poly, which automatically collapses the stack. Now, just because we've got a few that are kind of interpenetrating here, what we're going to do is the center ones, we're going to make them a little bit longer than the other ones and move them up. So just do go into vertex sub mode, give them an extra two or three inches of height. just move these up. And then we'll move them out a little bit more. Yeah, that's not looking too bad. And you can go through and you can move them around as you want. There. Okay, now we're going to create a pot for our plant. So go in and under shapes, align. Oops. And just draw out a shape for our pot once you have your shape you can go in and you can change any of the parameters, move things around as you want. like that. Once you have your uh, pot set the way you want, just simply apply the lathe modifier to it. Any of you that have seen my other uh, tutorials, you'll know how to do this quite quickly. There. I'll turn off the grid there. So now as you can see, we've got a nice pot to go along with our fern. We're just going to take and I'm just going to take and move everything up. that. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. So just going to collapse our, our pot holder. And now we'll just assign some quick materials on it so that we can see how it looks. Now I've created a few already. You can go through and create whatever ones you want. there. Now what we'll do is we'll do a quick render and see how everything turned out. I'm just going to pause it while it renders. Okay, so our render finished and this is our final product. So as you can see, it's really not all that difficult to uh, create simple house plants in 3ds Max. We went. Oh, I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks very much for watching. Have a good day.